We're here with Apple M1 Gaming, GNR Game Ready. We are going to compare Civilization 5 and Civilization 6 on Steam, playing it on the Apple M1 Mac Mini. So right now I have Civilization 5 up. We have the video options. You can see that the max resolution only is a 1080p screen. I have a 4K monitor, but for both of the games, they don't run on 4K uh, natively or it wasn't designed that way, so it doesn't run uh, on the 4K monitor. I can put it on that screen, but it's still 1080p, so there's no advantage to it. You can see that I have all of the qualities on video set to high. This leader scene quality, I cannot put higher than medium. For some reason, I'm trying to scroll here, so medium is what we get there. Also with Civilization VI, everything is maxed out to ultra on there, or as ultra max. I have everything on ultra there, and the video is smooth. We're going to run also our quartz on this so we can see the frames per second for both games i achieve over 90 frames per second we're also going to look at the three things of how the game is running on the system we can see for ram even before getting into the game at 64 percent the game uses itself uh 1.1 one four gigabytes at the moment but let's start playing to see how it goes that's drastically different than civilization 6. gpu is currently at 77 percent utilization and cpu is at 44 percent i'm going to jump into a game that i already have going on where it's in mid game that way there are many other nations on there and there's turns going and there's lots of workers around so we can actually see how the system is functioning when the game is in full swing. I find the game in general, the going from loading screens like this to just in between settings of the, uh, the, the AI doing its thing, load up quite quickly. So waiting here at this screen is nothing like before. I used to run an Intel i5 around 5500. So 2014 was my last PC, but I've had other Macs, but I just never gamed on Macs before. This is changing everything for the gaming. We can see, there we go, our frames per second is quite bigger. Now that the game has loaded, let's just zoom out of it a bit so we can see the level of how much work is going on in the game. I have tons of workers constantly running around. My, I'm building up my forces and I'm about to take out some nation. Our RAM now has changed. It's at 72% utilization. And Civilization now is at 2.3 gigabytes of usage. Again, I stress this unified RAM on Mac operates differently. We will see once we get into Civilization 6 how much utilization of the RAM is going on at that time, but I find that the games work brilliantly even when the RAM is close to maxed out. GPU is operating almost at 100% and my CPU is at 64. I'm just gonna play the game for a little bit. I have all my workers on automation. I'm gonna try to have it automate as much as I can, just so you can see the speed at which this game does function at. Even at the high level of detail of zooming in, we will see how we can see what is going on. If you have any questions in regards to gaming on the system through Steam, Fire off your comments below and I will try to answer them. If you have any games that you want me to test, let me know as well and I will put them on. And our next video coming up is going to do with Nintendo and emulation on Apple Mac M1. Civilization 5 is my favorite game of the series. I tried to go back not too long ago and play Civilization 2 and 3 and how basic it is. I just couldn't get through it. So, uh, I thought Civ 4 was it, but Civ 5 I think has a good combination of updates into the game and leveraging states with 
influence or actually love doing that I think that is actually really fun to do and it allows it brings another dynamic towards the game which this is what it needs now that I have a system that will run it smoothly I'm going to explore some of the harder games with the maximum settings to see I know it made my computer chug previously I want to see how smooth it is and maybe it's going to bring some new level of gaming back to me now I'm in Civilization 6 and I'm at mid game. So you can see I have about one, I have five or six uh, nations that I've made contact with and we're in the middle of, there's lots of stuff going on. Does this feel like any other uh, machine that I've used? Yeah, it does. Like there's a lot going on in civilization in a general with all the turns and all the things that you need to do, but I feel it goes through the turns a little bit quicker. Under our options, I have everything in graphics. I have it set to ultra. Anti-aliasing is at maximum. And you can see the resolution there is at 1920. I can't select the GPU because it's part of the system on. So as it goes, let's go with this game maxed out. As we can see just in the game itself, uh, my RAM is at 72% of being used. Uh, Civilization 6 is taking up almost 6 gigs of RAM with my other recording devices. My GPU is almost 100 and my CPU right now is at 76. As for frames per second is way over 90 uh, frames. I'm running this on a 4K monitor, however the resolution is not a 4K. Uh, but the frames per second are actually good. So just based on my map and how it goes, uh, you'll see how I go through the game and how long it actually takes and if there's any kind of difference. I would say it's slightly faster, but my opinion of Civilization VI in general seems a little too cartoony for me. And the introduction of Sean Bean, uh, or Scene Bean, he doesn't die in this one. Uh, every time science that uh, pops up and he reads a quote from it is interesting and all, but... Man, it constantly happens. So let's go see what the game is. So with the game, I find that I'm waiting between turns like I normally do now that it's ramping up to more people that I have and more things going on. The thing I learned about the Mac is when you have two displays going on and you want to arrange them, where you have the menu bar, if you relocate it to the other screen, that becomes your main screen. And then that's where the steam window follows you can't force the window over so let me just push through a bunch of uh, turns here just so you can see what the flow is like and then this will be so as a comparison towards Civ 5 the game is more <laughs> comfortable but I find it operates in the same manner and uh, speed it is not lagging or any difference i find that uh, the choice between characters is this game is a little bit more complex on that but it goes through as in waiting and seeing how everything goes that's everything for this video with the comparisons of civilization 5 and 6 using the apple m1 chip and we're gonna see i'm gonna test i'm gonna do an emulation in my next video and we're going to see how nintendo games play i'm gonna try out mario galaxy and maybe some other older ones from my past okay if you enjoyed the video give it a like and make sure you subscribe for more videos on this on the apple m1